Hi guys, what's up? Today we are going to build the big brother of the compact strain wave gear. In this case for a stronger stepper motor, NEMA 23. In this video I already assembly the flex spline and the hub, together with the metal balls. If you want to know how, please check new previous videos. This new assembly is more powerful, so I will use an aluminium hub, to attach the flex spline to the axis of the motor. I will use 6 screws to attach the aluminium hub to the plastic flex spline. Applying some pressure in the flex spline we can feel the oval movement. Now we will add a plastic adapter to align the center of the flex spline with the bearing. This is an EMA 23 stepper motor dual axis. I choose this type to show you the movement when the stepper motor axis rotates. Now we are going to attach the half circular spline. This plastic piece will be attached to the base of the stepper motor. To keep the whole assembly line we introduce the flex spline to center the base. To allow the flex spline entering the axis, we need to loosen the screw from the aluminium hub. Press gentle until the flex spline is inside, normally you will hear a light click. Let's assemble the last movement circular spline. I already introduced the bearing inside to keep the whole assembly aligned. Now we are going to proceed to close the assembly, adding the top cover. Please note another bearing has been introduced inside to keep all aligned. Last step is to put the four screws and four nuts and tighten. Since the ratio of this assembly is quite high, trying to move it manually produces a small movement at the end axis. This assembly has a reduction ratio of 46 to 1, 